Hey, Super Dave and all the Supernatural fans out there. I'm over here at Don and Mike's uh, Body Shop, and the official name of it is Garnet Auto Body and Restoration. Uh, as you can see, the car is now painted black. Uh, the only thing that has to be left done in it is some uh, wet sanding and buffing and stuff like that on it. So this thing is looking really, really, really badass. Uh, I'm going to come around here, try to get you all the video I can of it. Uh, you're going to see that the uh, we had to put new, or when I say we, Michael actually did this, put the new uh, corner moldings here on. Uh, they do reproductions of these, and actually Michael said these fit really good. They went on really good and stuff. So, and then we got the uh, Mike put the uh, trunk trim on and everything. So cars looking really good. Uh, now you're going to notice this car does not have the chrome tips on it. This is done like the big block car and this is a stainless uh, or aluminized, I'm sorry, aluminized exhaust. So that's done like the 502 big block car on the show. So when you do a small block, I replicate that and put the chrome tips on and, and saves people a lot of money. Uh, back glass is not in right now, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this glass got broken and uh, they've ordered a brand new one. We didn't realize that they made a four door hardtop rear glass, but they did, and I didn't know that. Don told me they ordered a brand new one, and I think it's like around 400 bucks. And that came out of Bob's and Palace. Um, anyway, the rest of the car, the only thing, oh, and they got to put the side trim on the car, and that'll be done this week, you know, coming across the car and stuff. So they have all that. Uh, wheel trim has been added. Uh, one other thing that they're going to do, and I'll, and I'll point out here in just a second, is after I get going around the car and stuff, but uh, they're going to put in the vents in the dash. So they're going to make this car look like a factory AC car. And then obviously the front windshield's out, and we have, I'm going to show you here in just also just another second, but you're going to see it's got the front bumper guards and everything. So, and this is 502 big block uh, built, this um, bitch will it'll turn your head quick. So uh, this thing sounds like a beast. Uh, so over here is the windshield. And what you're gonna notice about this windshield, right here now we're looking at the bottom of it, and then I'm gonna come up here and show you the top. And what you're gonna see here is that there is no tint on this glass. This has to come from a Hollywood studio, movie studio, uh, because if you guys ever notice, if you look at the glass, uh, the front windshields for these cars, it's either, you can only get it tinted. And I don't know why that is, but on the Hero car, um, they have no tint. And so I'm not gonna go into the story on how this came to be, but um, we've gotten it, and I've got one for my car. Now, you guys are out there thinking like, oh, hell, uh, the car, my car doesn't, I got it tinted, you know, on the front windshield, that's okay because some of the other cars that they have on set do have that and I've got plenty of screen grabs if anybody wants to know. So you're still correct, but this car here is gonna be a balls-on replica to the Hero car. And we've had to go back and redo some stuff because we found out a little later how the Hero car was done a little bit different. And uh, like I said, none of the eight cars on set match. So anyway, so we're gonna open up the door here. And you're going to see that, uh, let me get down here, my old body. Uh, this will all be cut, and they'll, you'll have the vent and everything in there. Steering wheel and everything. Dave's done a lot of work also to this to get everything ready, but dash is all painted. Uh, Don and Michael just have been really kicking ass on this car, and this thing looks so, so, so freaking nice. So... Uh, back, of course, after this car gets out of the paint and body, uh, I'm taking it over to the upholster shop, getting a new headliner put in it. Uh, we've got new door panels coming in. I'll do the package tray. Yes, weapons box is also going in this one. So it'll be all done exactly, exactly like the show car. So, and yes, initials, everything, army man. It all is here, uh, just waiting on me. Um, so this will go down to the upholster shop to get done and then while that's being done down there I'm still working on Jeff's car which a video will be coming of that as I've been working on it this weekend. 
So this car is solid. I mean, these are no new floor pans or anything. This is this is all original. And remember, guys, this was a Caprice, uh, so it's all all being done exactly uh, like the Impala. So this thing is so so sweet. Can't wait to drive this one around. Um, and then this car will be coming up to. Um, it's going to be out in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Super Dave lives out there. Um, it will be at a, uh, there's actually a couple conventions that this car's going to be at. And it sounds like I'm going to be there. Uh, Jeff Budnick's going to be there. I'm going to be talking to fans about, I guess they're giving me a panel on how, you know, about these cars and certain things about them and stuff. So anyway, uh, there it is. This thing is, like I said, so freaking awesome. Uh, Don and Mike just, guys, they just rock these things. And, they, and they're just done. They, they follow me and everything I tell them. Um, and so I don't have to do body and paint. I can, I can be doing the mechanics and stuff, what I love doing on these cars. And I've got these awesome guys that do these cars for me now. Uh, great team members to have. Oh, and also, this car has now has the hole for the antenna, because this car was originally a rear antenna car. And what you cannot see, any hole back here or anything. You guys cannot even tell this was a Caprice. I mean, they went in and welded up all the holes, and this thing is as straight as an arrow. Now, for people that are you guys fans and stuff, you're like, man, how much is this costing to get done? Uh, this car had to go some to a, extensive work on getting um, things done because somebody else had touched this car before Don and Mike. And so they had to go in and basically fix all these other idiots fuck ups and stuff. So the car was a little bit more expensive because, you know, going in and fixing stuff to make it right. Uh, if it had just been a stock car and stuff, you know, it would save Dave some more money. But um, you guys have these cars and you're like talking to idiots all over and they want all this money up front and then they don't touch your car and then they do it wrong. I mean, the stories go on and on. I'm going to tell you guys want to have your car done here at Don and Mike's. They're willing to take your guys' work. Uh, they are really just kind of, you know, more or less specializing in these cars now. And uh, they know them like the back of their hands. They get all the windows working perfect. And, I mean, they do it all, guys. And you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. And their prices are so, so, so nice. Um, so, for you guys out there that are wanting, like, maybe you want to send your car to Don and Mike, and I'm telling you, a lot of fans are now. Uh, I'm going to give you their phone number, okay? So you guys can call them. Uh, their telephone number is 785-448-2282. And uh, you guys can call them. Uh, you can send them pictures of your car and stuff. And, you know, he might be able to give you a pretty good estimate by looking at photos. I don't know. And I will, you know, guys, always beware that things lurk under these cars, problems, okay? Um, we all know that a, a problem here with these cars uh, is the back glass, and, and look at here, I mean, this thing is solid. I mean, they went in and just did everything right. Uh, so there's always a problem here on the back glass. Uh, the back corners down here by the rear wheels, that's, that's a big thing where they're uh, messed up. And then usually on the front fenders are down here, there are, uh, there's usually rust spots and stuff. Uh, it can be also front windshields and stuff like that, but you never know what you're going to do until you tear into it like an old house. And, uh, but they can always give you a really good uh, estimate maybe, and you can talk to them on the phone. They're the nicest guys to deal with. So, and the other big bonus thing is they do these cars right. I mean, guys, this, there's nothing that strays away from the original cars that you're seeing on set. Uh, besides, the paint jobs are nicer here, uh, and I always, uh, I've always said that, and you'll never just get, unless you find an old car and then you just use the living hell out of it, and like they do on set, you're going to have, you know, issues with your paint. But right now, uh, this thing is kind of dirty, you know, sitting out here dusty, and like I said, it's still got some sanding, wet sanding, and stuff to do, and buffing, but uh, there it is. Dave, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I've got pictures for you. And uh, I'm going to get this posted so you can see it tonight. I know you're dying to see the car. So uh, this is your car, Super Dave. And uh, man, she looks so, so good. So anyway, 
I hope you guys all have a good weekend. Uh, if you have questions, you can drop me a, uh, a message here on YouTube. I prefer you come over to Everything Supernatural and shoot me messages over there because I really don't check YouTube that much. I've talked about that I don't know how many times, but still yet people try message me on there. And I don't see it for months later, so... There she is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, people out there, I know there's a lot of fans out there building these cars. I'm serious, guys. You'd be money ahead, believe it or not, sending this car to Kansas and getting it done, done right. Uh, the paint and body and stuff. It'll sit, you'll come out money ahead, I promise you on that. So anyway, there it is. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.